Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. We got a great presentation today. We've been doing series of um, uh, analysis, research analysis on melatonin. Today our topic is like the role of melatonin in helping diabetes. Is there a role? That's what we're going to look at a scientific basis. Okay, again, my name is Pramil Charyat. I'm a program director, internal medicine residency program, transitional residency program, and I teach medical students and um, internal medicine residents. I'm also director of research and also an assistant professor of medicine. So let's get into our subject. So when we talk about melatonin, like, you know, it's producing the pineal gland, the signal, it actually comes from the retina, go through this luminous information and then go to the suprachiasmatic nucleus in the hypothalamus and the signal go to pineal gland and they start producing melatonin. So initially we're going to look at the pathogenesis of diabetes. There's a, um, abnormal insulin sensitivity, hyperinsulinoma that leads to central obesity and there's progressive loss of beta cells and there's impaired glucose uh, tolerance and that kind of lead to diabetes. And also you need to understand some genetic factors also play um, and uh, that can lead to progressive loss of beta cells where insulin is produced and there's physical inactivity also plays a role and then also high glucose in the blood also plays a role. Multiple factors kind of playing in the pathogens of diabetes. Now, how does melatonin help in diabetes, right? Uh, melatonin, it works on the insulin receptor tyrosine phosphorylation, which will lead to increased insulin um, growth factor production, IGF production, and that can increase insulin secretion, and that can give you also better blood sugar control. The main mechanism, there's so many other ways also melatonin effect. Melatonin, the main thing what happens is in also in diabetes, the circadian rhythm, body's 24-hour clock is kind of like completely messed up. So that means our sleep is affected, our eating and the resting cycle is affected, and a lot of hormones kind of come into place. Very important to keep the circadian rhythm as normal as can be. By taking melatonin, we can control the circadian rhythm or reset our circadian rhythm, and um, <clears throat> that can help. So. In, uh, because of this, um, I mean, in diabetes, there is an altered circadian rhythm and that can increase insulin resistance. So what does metformin does? It, uh, it affects on the, I mean, it tries to reset our circadian rhythm and, um, and it helps into, pro I mean, to decrease the insulin resistance so insulin can work better um, in, the, in diabetic patients. So it also affect, um, melatonin also have an effect on the metabolism. Uh, increase the metabolism, what does it do? Weight loss, anytime you weight loss your diabetes, you can have a better blood sugar control. There also <clears throat> melatonin effect induce the insulin secretion by insulin secretion signaling pathway and also finally it also improve beta cell function, okay? Remember that. Now in conclusion, mel melatonin plays a significant role in controlling the blood sugar in our human body. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll be back with another um, uh, presentation. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.